YouTube, YouTube, it's the Buffalo Perk Killer. Here cleaning these rock bass. And perch. I got these already clean. It's in the nice water. I've got a couple left to do. Um, cleaning these up for tomorrow football game. The Buffalo Bills play tomorrow. I was going to do it last week. I caught these last week. Uh, Saturday, and I put them in the freezer. And froze them. Took them right off. They're still frozen, but I'm gonna clean them for tomorrow. I usually flay them all, but got a little taste of something different. So we're gonna go old school. Get these scales off of here. I'm using my mossy oak knife. This thing's pretty heavy. Really digs into the scales. But anyway, let's talk about what happened today at the <laughs> in Alcott. Man, last weekend the Crappy King went down there and got 12. This weekend we went down there. I hooked into one about 4.30, about 5 o'clock in the morning. But it was still so dark that the video didn't come out. I got the audio, but the video didn't come out. It's too dark. I hooked in the one, I had it for a couple of minutes and I lost it. But that was pretty much all I got. With maybe 50 people out there fishing throughout the day, and we only seen two fish landed. So it wasn't just us. Uh, it was a pretty bad day. Uh, I should have listened to my partner, Corey, who invited me to co come to Fork Orchard with him. But I had some friends that wanted to go fishing, so I took them to, we all went together to, uh, to the pier. I heard all kind of think we were going to do just as good, you know, but we didn't. Now I got this thing uh, all scaled off. Gotta cut the head off. I'm gonna get up here where the meat is at. Cut that head off, throw that in the garbage. Yeah, but uh, it was a pretty bad day. I think the, the wind wasn't right, the weather wasn't right. It was too calm, the water was no waves, basically. It was almost 70 something degrees by 10 o'clock, well not 70 something, but close to it. Started warming up pretty fast. So I think that had a lot to do with it. And the wind direction, like I said, it was barely any any wind. It was barely any fish jumping around too. You know, usually you see a, a lot of them out there dancing. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these fins off. It's the way my grandmother used to clean them. Figured I'd try this once. Haven't eaten them this way, this way in years. I'm usually always filleting. But anyway, I should have listened to Corey, man. I, he's gonna probably rub it in on me because I probably those guys probably nailed them. When I talked to him, he told me that he hooked him to almost 40 something the fish last weekend, and I came up a big zero. Man, it was bad. All that preparation. Well, I guess that's a part of fishing. I'll tell you what, I had a hard day's work Friday. And uh, when I got there, my back was killing me. I hooked into that damn fish. And that's it. I hooked into that damn fish and my back pain went away instantly. Like I said, these are still frozen. You can see the ice on this one's head. Yeah, but, uh, wasn't a good day. I mean, it was a nice day out and all, but it wasn't a good day. The one that I did hook, I hooked it on a crankbait. So the crankbaits are working. Even the Crappy King, he didn't even hook into anything. And that's unusual. I guess it was just a bad day for the pier. 
There were a lot of people out there too, man. A lot of them left and went down into the into the dam. It rained most of the day, so we had a rain suit on. And I guess we left around 11 o'clock. But uh, I don't know. I guess we're going to get until next time. It's not over. It's just starting, you know. The weather just starting to get to the to the temperature that they like to come in. Like I said last week, and they're stacked in there pretty good. Crafty King got 12. What a difference a week can make, you know, with the weather and all. But, uh, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to try to get in. I got a, I got a meeting for my job tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 9.30. So I don't know when I'm going to get my fishing in tomorrow. Maybe after the game. I should have thought about it before I made, a, made that appointment. Uh, oh, subscriptions. You guys, a lot of you guys are watching my videos, but I got very low subscriptions. If you guys can just push that subscribe button, it doesn't cost anything. Just to let me know who's watching or if you're watching. I really appreciate it. Like I said, uh, I got a lot of good comments from you guys, but no subscriptions. I'm going to try to get that up. But uh, right now, I'm going to get these fish ready for tomorrow. Cut the sands off. Like I said, this is the way my grandmother used to do it, man. They said uh, it's a lot more flavor. It's not as bad as you think eating around the bones. A lot of people like to eat like that. But these will all be ready for in the morning. Going to have a fish fry for the football game. Hopefully the Bills will win. I don't know what city you guys are from. But the Buffalo Bills are leading the division right now. fillet them right away. I like to clean them right when they're still kind of frozen. Makes things a little easier. But I like to use my, my hunting knife because if I'm out in the field and it's heavy. So it really gets you see how it's knocking these scales off. If I ever do it out in the field, at least you'll know it'll work. And I'm going to get all that meat off of this one. Yeah, so, man, it was kind of hurtful. I just knew I was going to get me some trout and a couple kings. And I was so excited when I caught the first one. I don't know if I'm going to put that video up, but if I ever do, you hear me say that I hooked him to him, and then he started ripping the drag out on me, I got kind of nervous. I kind of think it was a king, because, man, he was in total control. I had, all I was doing was holding on. <laughs> that sucker was strong, man. But like I said, I lost him. At least I got, got a little feel of something. already a lot of scales on these damn things see that's why I usually fillet it's kind of messy you know but I guess it's worth it I'll cut them right there yeah 
pretty nice to live in a city that you can fish and eat the fish, you know. A lot of cities don't have this this option. Rock bass was one of the fish that I uh, fished for as a kid that got I fell in love with fishing. So rock bass has always been in my life. Even though I'm a perch killer. The perch is my favorite. And my wife she likes rock bass. Just tail off of here. A lot of people like to fry the tail and eat the tail. I don't mess around. Alright. So it's done. I'll just run this over just to make sure I got them all. Yeah, there's a couple right here. See there? Right there. And a couple right here. I'm still going to wash them off real good. Let them sit nice. And a little bit of salt until tomorrow. That one's done. And what do you know? We got one perch. Could throw him back. He just made the cut. Man, this is one of the reasons why I fillet. All this mess is something that I'm not used to all the time. I don't know. They say the flavor's in the skin. Guess we're gonna find out tomorrow, huh? Alright. Get this purse done. Man, I should have ne never made that appointment for 9 30. I could have fished from maybe 6 until the football time. I got a spot, it's called the Lighthouse, that I wanna try. I haven't been there in several years. It's a little walk to get there now, the way they got it all set up. But I'm going to go out there and uh, see what I can do. I'm out there looking for jack perches when, I, when I'm doing. I know where they are. I just got to find them. I'm pretty sure they're there. The water temperature is changing. Man, this is a damn job. Then I got to clean up. Skills all over the place. All right. His skills weren't as bad as those rock bass skills. Chop that head off. My grandma used to take the heads and bury them in her garden for fertilizer or something. I don't know what she used to do. I'm telling you, man, we've been eating fresh fish in the city of Buffalo for years. Ever since I was a kid, we've been eating these things. I'm gonna hit this with this fork. Whoa. These skills are a little smaller. A lot smaller than those ones on that rock bass. Alright. So, big zero, fall caught, but I'll make it up tomorrow fishing in the city somewhere. I got so many spots I want to take you guys that I haven't been, just I can't get to them all, you know. Then I get to some spots and they'll be like my favorites. I got one more step that I'm going to do to these. I'm going to show you with one because I'm going to go ahead and fry one tonight since I did all this damn work. Alright. I'm just going to do this to one. 
because I'm not going to cook all of them tonight. I'm just going to cook one of them. The rest are for the football game tomorrow. Tune you guys in on that. All right, so let's take one of the small ones. And take this one. This small guy. Shit, just watch this one. Stuff I'm gonna do to this is I'm gonna cut these slits in here. Wow, that's a sharp knife, man. I'm do three on each side like that. I'm gonna do three on this side like this. Man, yeah, that's a sharp knife. It's a beautiful knife. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'll batter them. Cornmeal, like I said, old school. I go through them all and dress them all up, make sure all the scales are off. And that sucker got scales all on it. Alright. So that's what we're going to have tomorrow for the football game. We'll have a better day tomorrow since we didn't catch any fish today. <laughs> I was so tired from leaving. I guess we left the house at 4 o'clock. We got down there just about 5 or so. But uh, we'll do better next time. All right. So uh, see you guys next time. Tomorrow when I go out to fish. Uh, let's try to get those subscriptions up. Uh, what else? Captain Bob's. If you ain't never been to Captain Bob's, you ain't fishing unless you've been to Captain Bob's, so don't forget about him. And uh, my partner, uh, Bass Assassin, he's uh, he's on a trip, making home safe, brother, drive safely. See you when you get back. And uh, that's it. All right. YouTube, we'll see you next time. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to try to get in fishing probably right after the football game. I'll hit the lake. Take you somewhere different that we've never been before. Hopefully, we'll get into some perch. All right, YouTube.